Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and we are back for some more Little Nightmares now. As you can see, in the last video, we got to this section where Six had been kidnapped, and as we can see, Roger the janitor there, stealing away the kids that are also locked in these cages. So, what we need to do now is wake up and try and find a way to break free of our cell and escape the moor, because, you know, it's not a nice place to be. This is, of course, my replay of Little Nightmares, and this is part two. So if you have missed out on part one, just dive back to that video, catch up, and then, of course, hop back, and you'll be all caught up. Without further ado, let's proceed and find a way out of this particular situation. We need to try and, like, get this cage to fall off. And there we go. It's really that easy. We're free. Now, I want to have a little look this way, because I forget what is this way. We've got a light to light. So there we go, continuing, of course, to light as many lights as we can. And you can see, we have another eyeball there, and a door that we can never really get to. This is kind of cool, like we're now, of course, onto the second main chapter of the game. And I believe that I'd like to get up to the kitchen environment in this video. Look at that little kid in there. Feel sorry for him. But unfortunately for him, but fortunately for us, he's going to come in handy as we try and reach this pulley here. Right, let's go for it. There we go, the door is open. And of course we need to swing to uh, this sort of open door now. And make sure that we sort of make the jump and stick the landing. So that should be enough. Go. And we made it nice. Okay, onward and upward. Quite literally, because I think we have to climb up this gate here. Of course, we're going to be heading into the janitor's lair in this video. And I actually find this to be one of the creepiest chapters in the game. We like this candle. There we go. We've lit the candle. Oh, very squeaky. Right, here we go, okay. What's this way? Oh, there he is, the janitor, tying up what I presume are other children. Yeah, you can see we've got a little kid there being sort of bundled up, wrapped up for the kitchen staff, I believe, to go into the various food for the people visiting. At least that's what I've always believed that their, their purpose is here. Like, I don't know for sure, but I, I think that's what they're being used for. They might have lots of different uses, you know, in this world. Probably is the case. Either way, that's kind of creepy, right? Let's just kind of crawl along the floor this way. Oh, he's heard us. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, man, that was close. So, yeah, when we go onto the floorboards, they creak. And then the janitor hears us. As soon as we get back on this cloth stuff, he doesn't. That was very, very close. I actually thought I was going to fail that time. At least we saved that kid, right? <laughs> that one on the bench there, it's been bundled up. I hope it can, like, wait back up and, like, wriggle off or something. Doesn't look like it, though, right? So what we have to do is we have to keep crouched now. We have to jump up here. And we actually have to, like, try and... Jump to this one. There we go. Keeping as quiet as possible. And then in this room, of course, we have a crank for this trapdoor. So we need to plug it in and be very, very fast here. Turn it. Come on, Six. You can do it. 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 No, I should have gone quicker. I should have gone quicker, guys. Like, I saw it opening, and I thought, let's just try and make sure that it's completely open. So, I'm going to skip to that point again, and we'll go for attempt number two. Here we go. Attempt number two, guys. Let's hope we can get it this time. And... I'm going to go. Here we go. Slide. Yes, we made it. Quite a big drop. I'm surprised she didn't break her little legs there, but I guess maybe they're made of strong bones. She drinks a lot of milk, so that calcium coming in handy. There we go, we lit another lamp. I think they act as checkpoints, right, those little lamps that we light. I'm pretty sure that's one of their purposes.
Lots of shoes here. Shoes probably belonging to people that aren't around anymore, I'd guess. And that's quite a lot, judging by this room full of shoes. Lot of victims in this place by the look of it. Let's not... Well, we haven't got shoes to lose, but let's hope we don't add to that list, right? Now, this room... I hate for one reason, which you guys will see very shortly if you're not familiar with this game. That thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Nobody knows what it is, but it lives under the shoes and it likes to eat little explorers that come through this area. Alright, we need to make it to the other suitcases over there, guys. So, let's try and do a running jump, right? There we go. Oh! We made it, we made it. Okay, where's next? I think we have to make it all the way to that suitcase over there on the far left. Sorry, the far right of the screen. Sorry, it's very early in the morning recording this. My brain is still not uh, fully working. Let's go. Ooh, come on, six, quickly. Yes, you made it, good, excellent. So long, creepy shoe monster. Hope you enjoy living beneath all those smelly shoes. Right. Onwards. We've got more hanging rats. Lovely. Okay, the janitor, the janitor, the janitor. He's coming for us. Run. Go, six, go. Oh, he's gaining on us. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Ah. Okay. I'm just going to hide up here. Here he comes. Hideous, right? Absolutely hideous. Not the most uh, pleasant of sights, is he really? Kind of deformed. And while we're just hanging here, guys, hoping that he doesn't find us, I would like to say that obviously we've had theories for Signal Tower is responsible for his deformity. The Signal Tower, obviously a big tower in the second game that's warping everything in this world, and it distorts the proportions of people, I believe. <laughs> And he would be one of those people distorted by it. Right. I think we're safe. So we have a little bit of time to theorise while we play this game, guys. I want to offer a little bit more than just a playthrough, because obviously a lot of this game, I'll remember exactly what's going to happen along the way. But I still want to make it fun for you, right? I think here, right, it looks like we need to go through this floorboard, because look, we can jump on it. So we need to move this. There we go. And then hopefully... There we go, we can drop down. Beautiful. There's a little gnome. Looks like the gnome managed to escape but was in the elevator with us. And there is a really good shot of Roger the janitor. And he's just kind of playing around with all the dolls up there. It seems he kind of is interested in the toys and the dolls. And of course, these dolls, I believe, come from the Craftsman, who was a character in Very Little Nightmares, the mobile game. And when we play that game, we find out about the Craftsman and find that he makes all these kind of dolls, a lot of them from human skin, from the skin of the children, sent to the nest, which is where he actually inhabits. So yeah, another bit of lore for you there, a bit of extra information about the story of these games, if you want it. Now, of course, we've got a statue here. I just want to break this thing. Because why not, you know? But for now, we actually need to go above ground. And I think we have to aim to try and get to this bookcase in the far right corner. So let's use this ladder. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to pick up the symbol monkey. And we need to just kind of chuck it right over there. And then that noise will disguise our movement through this next area. Because he's going to go for that monkey now. So you see, now while he goes for that, we can actually creep around here. Just don't want to knock that monkey so that we set it off. And now we can climb up here. Look at that doll as well on the shelf there, guys. With no face. You can see it down there. That's absolutely horrifying. Quickly, 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 quickly. And through we go. Come on. Six, go through! Man, sometimes this game is a little glitchy and she doesn't always want to like 
go uh, through the like exit that you you aim it towards. <laughs> I'll say that much. Oh, we're down. Okay. Right, onward and upwards, as uh, we just see there with the janitor. Now, hopefully, he's going to stay up there and not come back down. Can make as much noise as we want now. Look. There you go. Push this door down. Oh no, that was bad. That's probably going to have alerted him, right? Yep. Hello. Oh. We need to get a shoe here, guys, and throw at that button, I think. Okay, he's, he's searching where the noise came from. He's saying, I heard something around here for sure. So we just need to do this. Oh no. Quick, 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 quick. Go. Go, 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 go. Okay, that was bad. Especially when I missed with the shoe. I kind of got a bit scared there. I kind of wish some of these clocks would... Like, just fall down on him. No, what's that? What's going on? Go through, go through. Man, that was actually I, kind of scary. <laughs> the door was not opening for us then. Okay, we made it. That was intense because a lot of things went wrong there and I assumed he would catch up to us and he didn't. So, we're all good. We've got a checkpoint here. Let's light this candle. Beautiful work. And let's jump to the piano. You can actually get an achievement as well by, like, running on this. And you can play a little song. But we don't need to do that right now. We need to jump to this bookshelf. And crawl, or climb, I should say, all the way up it. No time to read for books on the shelves, of course, because of this guy, for one, but also we want to just get out of this creepy prison. Okay, just be very quiet, Six. Very quiet. Sneak. Use that uh, Metal Gear Solid style stealth. Yes, here we go. Okay, we're going to try and climb this bookshelf here. This bit isn't too hard as long as we take it slow and steady. We've got the janitor searching for us downstairs. And we just need to create a number of distractions. So I'm going to light this candle first and foremost. Look, he's reaching up. He's trying to find stuff. There we go. Checkpoint reached. So what I want to do... Is try and create a distraction. Distraction is working so far. No. Come on, lots of distractions. Lots and lots of distractions and noises for him. Just anything to keep him away from us here. Now we need to climb really fast. Go, 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 go. Excellent. We made it. Wow. Okay, guys. That was stressful. But we made it in uh, in good time here. So now what we need to do is... I think... I'm going to pick this up to start with. And sort of run it over here. Because that's the crank we need to, like, uh, get the pulley system to work. I'm going to turn this TV on, make some noise. And we're just going to crouch here and wait for good old Roger to come along. Watch some uh, nice musical television there. Alright, here he is. Here he comes. He's sort of drawn to the hypnotic, soothing sound of a TV. And I'm not going to complain about that. Look at him, he's loving it. It's caressing that screen. Kind of creepy. Right, let's run. Hopefully you won't hear all the creaking of the floorboards over that racket down there. And again, that TV kind of uh, feeds into the signal tower's broadcasts and how everyone's drawn to these TV signals. Uh, it ties into the lore of the second game in interesting ways. Which is kind of nice. Here we go then. Oh man, we need to be quick. 
Go. Go six. Yes. Come on. Swing, 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 swing. And I'm just going to take a risk. We made it. Woo. Okay. So that was actually pretty flawless. And I'm kind of surprised that that was flawless because we actually failed on the easy a bit earlier. But um, I'm not going to complain, you know. I think that's good. We made it in one. Go team Super Horror Bro, right? Okay. Steam. Steam is probably going to kill someone as small as six pretty much instantly. So let's cover up the steam with this trolley. We need to climb up it now. There we go. Drop down the other side. Grab it and continue pulling it. Do we... Yeah, I think we need it to reach that door handle, right? So we need to pull it all the way to the end. So pull it this way. Then switch sides again before it rolls back too far. And push it all the way to the end. And this should allow us to reach the door. Okay, come on. And... Yes, we made it. Beautiful. Oh, there's a bit of a, bit of a drop there. <laughs> a little bit of a drop. So... Let's make sure we don't fall down that. Not too far, just a few thousand feet. What awaits us in the darkness ahead? Let's light the light. Kind of soothing, you know, lighting these little lights up. Because you know you've got a checkpoint. I can hear someone breathing. I have a feeling that's good old Rog, that janitor. Yep, there we go, there's his hand reaching around. He can sense us, but we just have to sneak around him, I guess. He's gone, good. Hello, rats. How's it going? We made it. Oh! Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Quickly. Six, please run faster. Slide, slide, slide. Alright, we made it, we made it. Okay. Guys, what we need to do here is we need to reach the cage and we need to pull the door off here. So, here we go. Oh no, I thought we had it then. I thought he was going to like let us go. Alright guys, I'm going to try jumping to the other side this time. Because I think we want to start by jumping to this side. Now jumping down into the middle. And pulling this free like that. There we go. We did it. Okay, that time it worked quite nicely, didn't it? Let's try going up here again. He's guarding it a little bit better now, though, as you might have noticed. So let's go now. Grab that other side and say goodbye to your arms. There you go. <laughs> Poor Roger. <laughs> He's going to have to go through life without his extra long arms. You can actually grab these arms, I believe. And pull at them and like move them around. Yeah, look, look at that. Horrible. Oh my god, that's still alive. That's still trying to grab at us. What the heck? I didn't even know that it could do that. It's those nerve reactions going in those arms still. So yeah, there we go. Janitor taken care of. Don't think he'll be bothering anyone else any, any longer. And we can head on to the next section of the game and I believe this is probably going to take us to the end of today's uh, video because I think that's the chapter done. Yep, here we go. We've just woken up in the air vents and we're about to head to the kitchen area next, guys. So I just want to say thanks for watching today's video. Obviously, we got past Roger the janitor. We took his arms. We took him down and we've cleared the prison area of the game now. Now we move on to the kitchen area, which will be the sort of area we cover in the next video. Um, that should be up in a few days time, guys. I'm gonna probably space these out every few days, these videos for little nightmares. But I hope you've enjoyed today's one. If you have, remember just to hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.